بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم <coughs> السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome back to Tajweed Made Easy This is your brother Abu Muhammad Today is the first practical lesson of Tajweed and inshallah we're going to look at how to recite the isti'adha correctly So isti'adha is A'udhu Billahi Min Ash-Shaytani Rajeem Before we start I would like the viewer to pause this video to stop and to record yourself reciting the isti'adha, the basmala, bismillahir rahmanir rahim, and the whole of Surah Al Fatiha, and then save that recording. Then, after we go over the notes with the isti'adha, basmala, and the whole of Surah Al Fatiha, I would like you to uh, record yourself again and implement whatever you remember from the notes, and then save it, and then compare the two, compare the two recordings, inshallah. Before we start, I'd like to remind the viewers that in the Arabic language the, the scholars of the Arabic language have differed with regards to how many letters there are in the Arabic language. A group of the scholars they say it's 28 letters and others they say 29. They differ if the Hamza and Alif are the same letters. Now in the Arabic language from the 28 letters, let's just say 28 letters, from the 8 28 letters, from the, from the 28 letters Seven of them are what we call the heavy letters, the huruf al isti'la. These letters are, are pronounced with full mouth, make, putting heaviness on the letter. So the, the Arabs, okay, instead of saying kha, they used to say kha. So khalid, no, khalid, kha. So when kha has a fatha, they used to say kha. When kha has a kasra, khi. Kha has a dhamma. Khu, kha, khi, khu. Saad, they used to say sa and not sa. Sa is making it light. They used to make all these seven letters heavy with full mouth. Sa, si, su, as. Baad, they used to pronounce with heaviness, full mouth. Ba, bi, bu, ad. Same as ta, so ta, ti, tu, at, va, vi, vu, el, gha, and not gha. Gha is making it light, okay? So they used to pronounce it with heaviness, full mouth. Gha, ghi, ru, el, and qa, qi, u, at. So these seven letters are called the huruf al isti'la. The seven heavy letters, so the Arabs, whenever they used to pronounce these letters, they used to pronounce it with full mouth. Now the second part here, the second group of letters, which are two letters, Ra and the Lam in the word Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Lam in the word Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, these letters are what we call part-time letters. Sometimes these letters are going to be pronounced just like the huruf al isi'la with heaviness, full mouth, okay, and other times they're going to be pronounced Lightly, okay, empty mouth, depending on what's on top of the letter or what's before the letter. And we're going to find out uh, these rules, okay, when Ra and Lam are heavy, when Ra and Lam, when Ra and Lam, the word Allah, are heavy and when they, they're light. And the rest of the letters, okay, in the Arabic language, which are the majority of the letters, they're the light letters, okay, or huruful istifal. These letters are pronounced with empty mouth, okay, so all the rest of the letters. So, for example, if I say Hamza or the Alif, we pronounce the Alif. If is, does the Alif go under the heavy letters or part time letters or light letters? Okay, obviously, not from the seven letters, not from the part time, so it will be pronounced lightly. So Alif will be pronounced as A, A, and not A. If I say A, A, I'll be pronouncing Alif just like the seven heavy letters. Kha, Sa. Alif is not from the seven letters, from the heavy, seven heavy letters. So alif from the light letters will pronounce it lightly. A, A. Now ba, same thing. Ba, ba, and not ba, ba, like kha, sa. Ba is not pronounced, pronounced with full mouth, it's empty mouth. So ba, ta, ta, and not ta, and so on. So these are the categories. So the category A, or ca the first category, it's a heavy letters, seven letters. 
the second category, the part-time, sometimes heavy, sometimes light, depending what's on top, what's before it, and the rest of the letters are light letters. So let's start with the isti'adah. We have here Hamza. Hamza, we said, is from the light letters, eh? So we're going to say a, a'u, and not a'u. Whoever says a'udhu billahi, a'udhu billahi, then they have pronounced the Hamza, okay, in a heavy way, just like the seven heavy letters. Hamza is not from them. So a, a, we open the mouth. Whenever we say fatha, to make it very clear, open your mouth. A, a. Then we have ayn here. Let's not uh, say it, say it, the Hamza and ayn as if they're the same letters. A'u. 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 Here we have a wow. Wow doesn't have a haraka. Okay? A letter in Arabic, in the Arabic language, it can be a letter which is mutaharrik, which means a letter that has a haraka, the vowels, fatha kasadamma, or a letter that has a sukun, a sakin, does not have a vowel, so a non vowel letter. Whenever you see a wow, okay, there's no harak on the no fatha kasadamma, wow sakin, okay, it's preceded by a letter that has a dhamma, just like here the ayn has a dhamma, or there's a ya with a sukun, preceded by a letter that has a kasra, or alif that has a sukun, preceded by a letter that, have, that has a fatha. And we're not stopping on that word, we're continuing that word, then we're meant to stretch this ayin to two counts, okay? I'll explain what I mean. These three letters, they're called the huruful mad, the letters of mad. Mad just means extending or stretching. So these three letters, they will affect the previous letter, or the letter, they'll, they'll affect the previous letter, or how much we stretch, okay? So sometimes we're going to stretch from two counts. Some other times, okay, up to six counts, depending on what's before, what's before this letter and what's after this letter. So the stretching starts from two up to six. So whenever we see uh, these huruful mad, we know that, okay, depending on what's before, what's after, we're going to have to stretch the letter before it. When we see two counts here, this type of mad here, when wow has a second, possibility that has a dhamma, like this, this part of the word, okay, this is called mad tabi'i. Okay, the natural mud, we're going to extend this, we're going to stretch this to two counts. What does two counts mean? Two count means as if we, the time it takes us to say one letter twice. The ayin here, to say ayin once, the time it takes us to say once is this, this time. U, u, that's under a second. So u and u, so two ayins, this time, the time it takes us to say two ayins is two counts. So u. A'u, A'u, okay? So here, mad tabi'i, okay, this is the first type of mad we're going to learn. And there's nine different types of mad, okay, the stretching of the letters. So the first type of mad, we learn that if there's one of the three three letters of mad, preceded by letter, if it's a waw, dhamma, ya sakin, kasra, or alif sakin, fatha, then we're going to stretch it to two counts. And two counts means the time it takes it to say one letter twice. So, u, u. Okay, the word shaitan here, alif, has a second preceded by letter, there's a fatha, just like this. So we're going to stretch the ta, ta, like that. So okay, ta saying it once will be ta, twice, ta. Can we say more than two counts? Can you say, can we say, a'udhu billahi min shaitan rajim Can we say that? No. We cannot go more than two, nor can we go less than two. We can't say, a'udhu billahi, a'udhu billahi, but... A'udhu billahi. A'u. A, A'u. Then we have a dhal here. Okay, dhal. We pronounce it from uh, the tip of the tongue, touching the front, uh, bottom of the front two, two teeth. Okay? Th, th, dhu. Not z'a'u, If we change the za, the dhal to a za'i, okay, we've, we've made a clear cut mistake. Lahnu al jali, which is very, which is a serious mistake that we need to correct. Okay? So, a'udhu. Then we have billahi. We have the word Allah. We have, we have lam in the word Allah. We said lam in the word Allah, it comes under the, the part-time letters, okay? So this let, the word Allah here, sometimes the lam inside, we pronounce it with heaviness, just like the seven heavy letters, and other times it's, we, we pronounce it lightly, okay? So when do we pronounce it lightly? Whenever we see the word Allah, we look at the previous letter. If the previous letter has a kasra, the E sound, then we're going to pronounce it lightly. So, Billahi, Billahi, and not Billahi. 
Like, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ We're pronouncing the word Allah heavy. هُوَ اللَّهُ Why? Because it's preceded by Fatha. But if it's preceded by Kasra, we make it lightly. So, بِاللَّهِ أَعُو Two counts. أَ No, أَ No, أَعُو أَ أَعُو Two counts. أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ Now, we have here Shadda. This W sign is called a Shadda. And a Shadda just means that inside the letter, there's two letters. Okay? If there's a Shadda with a Fatha, it means the first letter has a Sukoon. Okay? Sukoon just means... Uh, there's no haraka fatha kasadamma and second letter has a has a fatha so we're going to hold to the sukun then do the fatha so billahi a'udhu billahi a'udhu billahi and not a'udhu billahi billahi but billahi and no and we're not going to cut the lamb so it's not going to be like a'udhu billahi billahi inna allah we're not going to cut the lamb but hold the lamb before you, you do the fatha. So, a'udhu billahi, a'udhu billahi. Then we have mina here. We have two syllables, mina. Okay, which syllable are we going to raise our voice with? Is it mina shaytani or mina shaytani? We're going to stress, okay, or we're going to raise our voice on the first syllable, the mi. Mina shaytani, and not mina shaytani. A, no a. Ru, two counts. The, the, a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani, min ash-shaytani. We have shin here. When shin has a fatha, we don't need to move the lips. So it's not shaytani. Only with the dhamma do we move the lips forward. I mean, moving it forward. Shu, with the dhamma, shu, yes. But with the fatha or kasra, we do not need to move the shin. We don't need to move the lips forward. So it's not sha, sha. But sha, sha, sheen has a shadda. We said shadda means two letters. First sheen has a su circuit, sukun. Second sheen has a fatha. So mina sha, mina sha, a'udhu billahi mina shaytani, mina shaytani, mina sha. Hold the sheen, mina sha. A'udhu billahi mina sha, mina shaytani. Here. The word shay here, whenever you see a letter that has a fatha, a, and then there's a ya, sakin, we have to make sure that we don't pronounce it in between a fatha and a kasra, which is wrong. So it's not mean a shay. If I say shay, it's in between fatha and kasra in the middle. Shay, a. In hafs and asim, the mode of recitation that we're doing, there's no a. We don't pronounce it a. It's either a or e. Okay, so in this situation, it's mean a shay. Mina sha and not mina she. She is wrong. So mina shai, mina sha, mina shai. A'udhu billahi, billahi, mina shai. Then we have the ta here. Ta is from the heavy letters. Okay? Ta is from the heavy letters. So we pronounce it with heaviness. So ta'ni, ta'ni, and not mina shaytani, mina shaytani, but mina shaytani. أعو أعوذ بالله من الشيطان. Then we have ra here. Ra is from the part-time letters. Sometimes it's pronounced with with heaviness, with full mouth. Other times it's pronounced lightly. So when do we pronounce it with heaviness? We pronounce it with heaviness if ra has a fatha. So arra arra ra. The Arabs used to pronounce with heaviness whenever you see ra with a fatha. They used to pronounce with heaviness. So arra ra and not arra. So it's not min al-shaytan irra, but min al-shaytan irra, nirra. So a'udhu billahi min al-shay, shay, not shay. A'udhu billahi min al-shaytan, tan, min al-shaytan. Then arra, min al-shaytan irra. We have to make sure we don't, we don't, uh, Roll the ra and produce multiple ra's. So, min al shaytan nir rajim nir rajim is producing multiple ra's. We just have the first ra, second, second ra, fatha. So, nir nir ra nir ra nir ra min al shaytan nir ra a a'u a no a a'udhu billahi min al shaytan nir ra. Then we have jim here. The correct way of saying jim is ja 
جي جو اج نو جا نو من الشيطان الرجيم الرجيم this is not the correct way of pronouncing the, the جيم نو do we pronounce it closer to دال من الشيطان الرجيم الرجيم okay we, we should not pronounce it like a دال الرجيم من الشيطان الرجيم here we have to make sure that the word الرجيم sound like a clear كسرة إنه الرجيم if I say من الشيطان الرجيم 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 is in between فتحة and كسرة we want الرجيم to pronounce it with a clear كسرة we open our mouth as if we're smiling الرجيم الرجيم من الشيطان الرجيم من الشيطان الرجيم الرجيم here the mim has a كسرة the, the Arabs the Arabs never used to stop on a sentence with a vowed letter so they didn't say من الشيطان الرجيم so you have to put sukun you have to put uh, uh, we put sukun on the mim so الرجيم hold and let go الرجيم 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 أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم We're not going to hold it too long الرجيم Okay this is this is putting a shut down it No are we going to make a lakaba الرجيم الرجيم جيم Okay الرجيم الرجيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم Again, a and no a, u, two counts, so we can't go, we can't say a, u, but a, u, two counts, two counts, okay, as if we're saying uh, one letter twice, okay, the time takes us to say the letter twice. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim, make sure the word ar-rajim, we don't make a nasalization sound, a sound coming from the nose, the sound that comes from the nose are only two letters, so if we hold our nose, okay, and say a, say ba, ta, tha. You can't, you, you can't feel any sound coming from the nose if you go through all the letters except for two letters. So if, if we say ma, say ma, and na, mim and nun are the only two letters that, that should, that the sound, okay, should come from the nose. So to say ar rajim, ar rajim is wrong. Why? Ar-Raji, Ar-Raji, and not Ar-Raji, Ar-Raji, saying Ar-Raji, okay, we we're reproducing sound from the nose, which is not correct. The sound that comes from the nose, only Mim and Nun. So, A, A'udhu Billahi Min Ash-Shaytan Ar-Rajim. Again, A, A'u, two counts, the not Zu. أعوذ بالله بالله من الشيطان الرجيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم. So today we did the istiada. إن شاء الله this is the correct way of reciting the istiada. In the next video, إن شاء الله we're going to start with بسملة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم how to recite it correctly. Until then, Jazakumullah khaira, wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.